So it's just me today, but I've got lots of good stuff. Hello, Facebook. How is everybody today? Firstly, Facebook, I'm sorry. Uh, I was setting up earlier and I must have clicked the go live button because I think you just had a picture of the empty chair <laughs> while I got everything ready. So apologies for that. Anyway, I am here now uh, for real. It's just me today because I've got so many things that I want to share with you and uh, yeah, just chat about. So first of all, a very quick update on the whole HRT gel debacle which is just turning into a major incident oh my goodness who knew so if you haven't been following this you need to take a look at the manchester menopause hive she's on facebook and she's also on instagram and she's a doctor she's a menopause specialist and she first flagged a few days ago that some pumps of the estrogen gel uh, don't appear to be working and it seems that the ones in question are called estradose which is a parallel import. I didn't know about such things. Uh, and what you really need is estrogel. Now the issue is that they're made by the same company. The company says they should be exactly the same, but many, many, many women are reporting that if they're using estradose, it's not the same and it's not delivering the results that it should. So I put this on my Instagram, um, well, and also talked about it on Facebook. I think it was on Wednesday and it's just, I mean, there's been a deluge. I thought there might be, you know, a few, maybe half a dozen women saying, oh, yeah, no, I know I was affected by that. I thought that was a bit strange. But no, I mean, we've had and with Facebook groups as well and forums, hundreds, literally hundreds. It is so shocking. Uh, anyway, I am on the case, as along with many other GPs and pharmacy experts as well who are completely outraged because I did hear from a comment on my own Instagram that this was first reported in writing to Besson's Healthcare back in 2014, six years ago. How can that be? Uh, so do check your pack and there's a further little complication here. This is estrogel, this is my estrogel, okay, that's what it should look like. But some bottles of estradose have been over -labeled. And if you take a look at the Manchester Menopause Hive Instagram, um, I'm not sure whether she's popped onto Facebook as well, but it, you, you can see, and many people have been doing this, uh, have actually been peeling off the label here and it reveals estradose underneath. So anyway, if it works for you, great. All the comments that I've seen, I've not had one comment that says, I've got estradose and it's fine. All of them, without exception, 100% have been negative. And they've talked about symptoms returning, breast tenderness and pain, breakthrough bleeding, all of that. Plus, of course, the symptoms of hot flushes, not being able to sleep, anxiety, achy joints, all of that. So what you need to do is if you've been using estradose and perhaps haven't realised it, and you've had symptoms, you've had issues, please download the app. There's a special MHRA app. You can report it. You can report any kind of medicine, actually, and side effect. It's a really good little app to have. It's called the Yellow Card app. I don't know if you remember, but back in the day, doctors used to literally fill in a yellow card and pop it in the post on snail mail um, to the controls agency. Well, now we just do it on an app and many, many of you are doing it. So thank you for all those who've messaged and more on this when we have more news. At the moment, we're still just investigating, but it's really important that if you've been affected, that you report it so that you let everybody know. So that's that. So with all of that going on, oh my goodness, it's been a crazy week because that just dominated uh, everything that I was doing. I actually recorded a Friday Five podcast with Dr. Zoe Hodson, who is the Manchester Menopause Hive. Unfortunately, the sound quality was so bad um, that we're going to have to redo it. So we will be redoing it. So what we're going to put out today, instead of my Friday Five podcast, we've got a brand new episode of the Lazar Wellbeing Show, which I recorded very recently with another doctor, Dr. Tina Pears, all about histamine. And this is completely fascinating. So that will go live hopefully later on today if we can get the technology to work. So you're hearing it first from me because this is in real time. Um, just to say also, if you're watching in real time and not on catch up and it's before four o'clock in the afternoon on Friday, if you're not already signed up to my newsletter, please hop over to lizardwellbeing.com and sign up because it's going out at five o'clock 
lovely Amy is uh, is going to press the go button and so if you're not on the list you won't get it so it's a, it's a real cracker it's a really good one lots of great links to things so I don't want you to miss out but you have to be on the list by four o'clock on Friday if you're watching this later and you've missed it don't worry still sign up anyway because you'll get next week's okay but if you want this week's then you need to just make sure you're on the list as it were so it, with all this going on I have been taking more of these I talked about these before this is life armor I use their slumber drops. I think they're very good. I'm not paid to say that. They sent them to me to try and I think they're excellent. We've got a discount with them on Liz Loves. And these are drops of balance. Um, and I have to say, I've been in a bit of need of that. It's been quite a tricky week, so I'm gonna take a few more. Hmm. And the main herb in here, oh, they put peppermint oil in, so it tastes really nice, is ashwagandha. And that's a really interesting balancing herb. So lots of interesting research on that. So um, yeah, drops of balance, just throw that out there. If any of you, like me, are feeling in need of, oh, let's just breathe and get some balance. Lots of nice comments uh, about my hair. Thank you very much for that. So I'm just gonna scroll off in here because my Instagram does tend to jam. Um, yes, my hair, uh, it was bright pink yesterday, washed it. It's obviously washing out. This is the Lee Stafford um, pinky stuff that I brought, uh, bought rather, um, I just bought it online from their website and my hair I have to say it feels quite dry, I'm not sure whether it's maybe not doing great things for the condition, so I bought this and I've yet to try it, um, I'd love to know if anybody else has tried it, it's called Purple Rain and it's a toning treatment and it's supposed to take down the brassiness of sort of home dyed blonde hair, guilty as charged, uh, and also condition the hair because my hair is feeling a little bit straw-like, so not entirely happy about this. Anyway, I bought this, and um, I will try it over the weekend. It's a toning treatment, um, and it's purple, and apparently the purple is supposed to kind of counteract the... Look at that. It's really purple. <laughs> the purple is supposed to counteract the, the brassiness that you can get if you are not shh, a natural blonde. Uh, so that is that. Um... Lots of chat here about True Grace. Oh, how lovely. I ordered my True Grace candle kit, got my free gifts, and got a bar of rose soap. Smells divine. How lovely. Now, I got my little uh, Neroli glycerine soap, which I absolutely love. Honestly, a beautiful soap. It's a simple pleasure, isn't it? But it can just puts a smile on my face every time I wash my hands with one of their Neroli soaps. So, yeah, True Grace, lovely, lovely British brand. And actually, I should just say, just as a thing to remember, they have very kindly given us a discount across everything, all their candle making kits and all those fun things. Plus, at the moment, everybody who uses the Liz Loves code on their website gets a free Neroli hand cream, which is really a nice, nice hand cream. It's really rich. It's not sticky. It comes in a little aluminium tube. So it's, it's a really, really nice one. And then just until today, so I think you've probably got until, I don't know, midnight tonight maybe, they're also giving every order, I think over £60, a free candle as well. So it's a really, really good deal. Um, so yeah, I know lots of you have been rushing to that. And they're a lovely British brand. As I said, it's a family-run brand based in the West Country, started off a stall in Portobello Market and have just grown. And they do lovely things, sustainable plant waxes all of that this is my um, grace true grace candle actually this is one of their lovely big ones and this is called orangery i'm kind of sitting i'm not quite sitting in an orangery but i'm sitting in a part of the house that overlooks the garden and look isn't that lovely and orangery oh i just love the neroli smell i'm going to talk a lot about neroli today because it's one of my favorites and this is uh, it has neroli in it because neroli is orange blossoms um in case you didn't know that and it says, this is a Victorian orangery scent. It's precious citrus trees, shielding from the English weather. That's just what we want, isn't it? Orange blossom blended with deeper rose and jasmine. Oh, heaven. So nice on a florally fragrant Friday. Oh, to be sitting and sniffing that. Now, other things that I'm surrounded by, I've got some lovely scents going on here, which I want to share with you. I've got my beautiful sweet peas, freshly picked this morning. One of my one of my pleasures. Usually, you know, normally I'd, I'd spend a working week working away from home, and then I'd come back on a Friday. And one of the first things that I would do is head into the garden. And my lovely friend Sarah Raven, who writes the garden column for Liz Our Wellbeing magazine, 
she was one of the first to really promote the idea of having a cutting garden so you grow flowers like a crop so if you've got a garden and you've got room you can have your flower beds right near the house so that you actually have those flowers that you look at that you don't touch because that's they're kind of like vases aren't they in the garden um, but then maybe interspersed in a veg patch or a few herbs or something you'd start growing cut flowers that you would literally you just plant them in rows and and you when they're in season you just go and you cut them so I've got my sweet peas you probably I may have seen I, I did a little garden tour not that long ago of my veg garden um, if the sun is shining maybe on Sunday I might take another walk through it if you'd like that if you'd like to see how my veggies and everything is coming on um, but yeah I do love my flowers and I do plant lots of flowers and it's just nice to be aware of the season still got lots of roses that's really nice they're quite scented I use a lot of the David Austin old-fashioned variety of course I was talking to my friend Roseby Morton from the Real Flower Company and she introduced me to a great rose variety called Margaret Merrill which is a beautiful sort of floppy white rose and the scent is incredible. It really is grown for its smell. And I bought my mother one for her birthday last year. And this is the first year that she's had it in the ground and it's, and it's flowering beautifully. And when I went round um, and had lunch in their garden uh, last week or so, um, she proudly showed it to me and it was flowering and it was smelling absolutely lovely. So Margaret Merrill is certainly a variety to watch out for. Um, oh, Rose Petal says, I'd love, um, love a garden tour. Great. Uh, oh, good. So lots of other goodies. Uh, why the Insta hearts? Not pretty colours anymore. I don't know. They're just coming up as white. But I heart you guys anyway. Yeah, I can see. They're white hearts, aren't they? Um, excellent. Lovely to see. Thank you so much for all your comments. And thank you to Amy. So Amy is manning Facebook for me. So anything that I talk about, on Facebook then Amy is going to pop links on which is really good so it's always a good resource and of course you guys know hopefully now that if one goes down you can switch to the other so if you're on Instagram and there's an issue please head over to Liz our Wellbeing magazine Facebook page and vice versa if anything should happen to Facebook then please hop over to Liz our me on Instagram it's nice to be able to do it both ways because I've got two phones set up in front of me which is why my eyes sometimes sort of track between the two phones but I'm talking to everybody and we are looking at ways to do more obviously a lot of you now watch on YouTube you watch on catch up I know the format isn't great on YouTube so thank you for bearing with me we are looking at a way to do it so that it comes into the TV format so it's horizontal rather than vertical but talking of TV I'm actually back on TV on Monday I'll be back on uh, before my Instagram live or Facebook live with Holly and Phil back on this morning and I'm gonna be back in my kitchen doing something something good there so tune in I'll keep it quiet for now I might let you in to the secret tomorrow but yeah that's going to be Monday morning and then I'll probably stay in my kitchen um, and do my live as normal from there now something I just wanted to remind you about if you're interested in foodie things and that is the fire tree virtual tasting I talked about these before <laughs> you're sending all these colored hearts now thank you um, so I have mentioned these guys before they are a really great chocolate brand called fire tree so they are just firetreechocolate.com we have a liz loves discount code if you want to buy any of that lovely chocolate but what i really like about them is they do these chocolate tastings and what you do is you you basically sign up and you get that chocolate tasting box and this comes with the things that they're tasting the next one um you're going to have to be quick because they can only dispatch it this weekend to give you time to join the tasting. It's on the 2nd of July, so next week at 8 o'clock. And they are tasting single estate rare cocoa with extraordinary fruity taste notes. There you go. And so you just basically, you get sent your box of what to taste. You get sent your tasting sheet that tells you all about the different flavours and varieties. And all these chocolates are single estate chocolates. They all come from family run farms. We've got one here. Gosh, this is a real geography lesson. Where the heck is this? Malakula Island. This is rich volcanic chocolate. Who knew? That's 72% cocoa. So where does it say that is? Uh, it doesn't say, it just says uh, Malakula is a tiny island. Okay, well, if you know where it is, <laughs> please write in and tell me. Uh, this one is from the Solomon Islands, and this is called Makira, from Makira Island. 
and uh, this is great when you read all about it on the back it says Makira has two guest houses a grass landing strip a small hospital and Lucy's all-female cocoa farm there you go it's the personal artisan nature of the farm that ensures the distinct character of this delightful chocolate and then it tells you all about it and why it tastes different it says it tastes different because it thrives on the unique rich porous soils of the South Sea's remote volcanic islands so wow amazing and this says it's got soft grapefruit and raisin tones. Mm, that's 75% cocoa. This one is from Min, for the Philippines, Mindanao Island. So they're going to be tasting this one. This one says it has citrus, honey and caramel layers. And then this one, last but not least, this actually I think is the one, this is my favourite of all the ones I've tasted if you just want to go and buy a single bar. This is 69% um, cocoa and it's it's really really top um, so it is red fruits citrus and plum absolutely delicious so there you go so you can use your Liz Loves code you can buy bars of chocolate you can buy the tasting box what a nice present for somebody actually or you could do it as a family because you've got four bars of chocolate so there's plenty to eat and taste and then their master chocolate bod kind of talks you through it um, I think you get a code to a, a zoom meeting or something there you go Chocolate maker, Martin O'Dare. Okay, so they all come from the southern seas, the volcanic islands. Amazing. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, they send you a link to the Zoom webinar, and that's on Thursday, 25th of June. So I popped the link. I know, um, Amy, you've got a link on Facebook. There's a link in Linktree as well if you want to, to head there. Something else that I've linked to is a lovely brand that I have written about in my magazine before called Isla Apothecary, and it's a lovely female founder brand, beauty brand, based in Britain. And I just wanted to share one of the things with you that I've been using, uh, which I absolutely love, because a lot of you have asked about body care, and um, I've got you know quite a bit of skin on show today, because it's really a lovely warm day down here on my farm in the West Country. And this is just a treat it's neroli body oil so i told you this would be a neroli fest over the next few days partly to celebrate my neroli necklace which is still on half price but only for the next few days comes off half price um, on the 30th so end of the month which i think when is that is that sunday gosh um, so yeah so so be quick if you'd like it it's this is a fair trade gold um, gold vermeil which is a really thick coating over sterling silver 24 carat and it's um, either rose gold or yellow gold this is my little yellow gold neroli so because I was talking about neroli and I just I love that scent those of you who've known me for a long time will know that neroli has been a theme that has appeared I think you know the very first few products I ever created back in the day for the beauty company when I was um, still connected there uh, were based on neroli because I've always loved the softness, the floralness. I'm not a very sort of sweet, sugary sort of person, so uh, scent-wise anyway. So I don't like anything that's too sweet and cloying. So I like the softness of a floral, but also to have it underpinned with a little bit of citrusy tang, which I just think kind of softens it and makes it something that you can really envelop yourself in and it's not too seasonal. I find some of the rose smells are lovely and I do love them, but especially at this time of year, but they don't sit quite so right perhaps later in the year. Whereas Neroli is something that I wear year round. I absolutely love it. And it's a symbol of love and romance and harmony, which is why they used to strew it at, rose, uh, at weddings with rose petals and Neroli blossom. So Neroli is the orange flower blossom. So you may see it written down as orange flower. So you can buy culinary grade, orange flower water you can add it into cakes you know you can make an orange flower water sponge and decorate it with little neroli blossoms if you were happening to live somewhere where you were able to grow an orange tree um, or you can use it obviously in skincare you can buy orange flower water you often see neroli water or the essential oil where it's distilled and that's where you get the really strong scent from the distilled oil well, this is a really nice brand. It's called Isla Apothecary, and they have this. This is one of their hero products. I'll show you guys on um, Instagram first. Sorry, it comes out backwards. It's in a beautiful glass amber bottle, like an old apothecary bottle, and it's just called Neroli, Neroli body oil. So really simple. But what I love about it is the ingredients. It's all natural. It has a lot of argan oil. Sorry, not argan oil, rosehip. My other favourite, rosehip oil. 
um, and vitamin E. That's why I was thinking about argan because it's very rich in vitamin E. And it also contains a little bit of pumpkin seed and of course lots of genuine neroli. And yeah, it's just the most amazing smell. Oh, do you know how some smells, you, you, you put them in your hands and you, you smell them and you just actually kind of need to take a moment because the whole shift in your limbic system, which is this part of the brain at the top of the nose here, that controls mood and emotion. That's why fragrances are so important because they definitely can shift how we feel. And you just sort of want to take a breath. You can feel your shoulders go down. And anyway, I'm gonna pop this on my, on my skin because I just love it. So we've got a discount. Um, we have got on that Isla Spa 15%. So thank you very much, Isla Spa. Um, and thank you very much for giving me your lovely oil because I do genuinely love it and I love your brand um, and I know that we're hopefully planning some more things with, uh, I'm not sure if it's Isla Spa or Isla Spa, anyway, I-S-L-A. You'll find the link, Amy, thank you for putting the link on Facebook and the link is obviously on um, Instagram and I think that's 15% off everything that they have, it's not just the Neroli oil. They've got this size which I absolutely adore and there's also a little winny, mini, mini, I can't say it now, weeny mini travel size, <laughs> which is also lovely. Oh, must be the Romas, it's getting to me. Um, dresses, somebody's asked about, um, we should ask her to make some. Make some what? What do you want me to make? I missed that bit, sorry. <laughs> Lavender. Does the smell last? Yes, it does. Absolutely it does. I mean, smell's a funny thing, isn't it? Because your brain it triggers an immediate reaction. It's a really fast thing. It's one of the fastest reflexes that we have, actually, our sense of smell. Maybe it was from olden times when we had to run from a woolly mammoth and we just got the scent of it, I don't know. But um, we do smell things really quickly, but then once our brains kind of clocked it, we stop smelling it. So we may not be able to smell it on ourselves, but we might walk into a room and someone says, oh gosh, you smell nice, and you think, do I? I can't smell it because our brain is kind of tuned out. So um, actually sometimes the smells are lasting and if you walk into a room that's had a scent of candle burning for example we might not smell it all the time but somebody coming in afresh their brain will, will pick it up. It's really who's this Alison saying Neroli is the oil that helps reduce stress yes lovely lovely. So the spa it's a brand Marion it's called Ila Spa I-S-L-A and I'm sure Amy will pop the link on Facebook. Um, it's also on Linktree. And actually, you don't really need the link. Just go there and use the code Liz Loves. Liz Loves, all in capitals. That gets you access so many places now. It's just great, isn't it? Uh, we're going to start building kind of more on the website to make things easier to find. Amy's been very busy because all these lovely brands that we've discovered during lockdown, particularly British, family run, very often female founder led brands like LBB Skincare who've given us that wonderful 20% discount off the A-game, that great stick that's got all the ceramides and the lovely oils in. You know, it's these are things that we're just going to keep up um, and so you will always be able to check back on the website if you think, you know, oh actually I remember Liz talking about that, I wonder if there's a discount code uh, so you'll be able to go and check it out now something also on the website that we have but we don't have very many of so I just wanted to throw it out there very quickly is you may remember that a few weeks ago I found some back issues of the Lizzo Wellbeing magazine and I was able to bundle them together and they I mean they all went so I don't have any left here at the farm but I do have a few boxes that I discovered of this one this little beauty. So this is the summer edition from 2018. So many of you may already have it, but if you haven't got it and you'd like it for your collection, I think it's especially relevant. So you can buy it as a single issue. It's only 4.99, um, and I'll pop them in the post here from the farm. But what this particular issue gives you, obviously it's a summer issue, so it's got lots of summer things, you know, that relate to what's going on with the weather. It's got 35 recipes in it, so it's kind of almost like a book. It's got, and, it's, and they're all summer based, so it's really, really good time. There's also a really good article, um, it's probably coming out backwards here, but there's an HRT article, which is also really good. I know we've been talking a lot about hormones. Um, it talks about sunscreen, it's got the ultimate Victoria sponge recipe, healthy ice cream recipes, lots of summer beauty in here. This was a real kind of beauty issue, um, talking about 
easy ways to whiten teeth. Uh, I learned a lot from that actually. Quick fixes for leaner legs, who doesn't want that? Three minutes to smoother skin, all of that. Plus actually, oh, I'd forgotten this. There was a, an article, I went to Giraffe Manor in Nairobi and there is a really lovely, oh my goodness, I'd forgotten those amazing pictures. Look at that. This was having breakfast with giraffe. That was literally one of the highlights of my life. That is a genuine, non-posed, non-staged picture. I mean, it was just amazing, amazing, amazing. And you stand on their terrace here and you can feed the giraffes. They love pony nuts. Who knew? So if ever you are face to face with a giraffe and you want to give him or her a snack, I love that. Yeah, that doesn't look real, does it? Look at that one. I'll show you in just a sec, Instagram. There we go. Look, can you see that? <laughs> His little face coming in. Can you imagine sitting having tea and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, hello. <laughs> and they are big. They really are big. And you can hold pony nuts in your hands and they come and take them from you. And they've got these really long, long tongues and they're blue. Did you know that? Giraffes have blue tongues and they're quite bristly. So they kind of wrap the tongues around you and pull the little pony nut out of your hand. And they have bristly tongues because they strip the acacia trees. They're actually not hugely brilliant for trees in their natural environment because obviously being so tall, they get up to the, the top branches and giraffes love new little tender shoots. They're not so bothered about the scruddy old leaves and things, but they love new little twigs and they wrap their big furry tongues around these branches and they pull and their, the bristles on their tongue strips the leaves off, just leaving the bare stalk. And I know that because I, my family used to have a home in Naivasha and we used to get the giraffes. You may have seen them over the years on my Instagram we would just watch the giraffes walking through the acacia trees and we'd watch these these tall cheeky monkeys just go up and strip all the leaves off <laughs> but they are amazing creatures they're lily's favorite actually um her in fact her nickname used to be twiga lil for a while twiga is the swahili word for giraffe so my little twiga because of course she's very tall and beautiful like giraffes very graceful um, not doing so well at the moment, so we're still on that journey. But part of that journey is, of course, looking at the histamine issue with this mast cell activation disorder. So um, it's going to be fascinating. I'm really looking forward to listening to the podcast, re-listening to it, actually, because obviously I recorded it with Dr. Tina Pierce, but hopefully that will be live later on today. So if you've got your podcast app or you can always download it from lizardwellbeing.com but that's a really nice one to uh, listen to while the series is off air because we're going to be recording again uh, we pick up again I think in the end of July we start our recording again hopefully when we can actually have people back into the studios and um, can start recording properly because as we saw yesterday when I was trying to do something down the line with Dr Hodson it, the, the sound quality um, often fails and that's really annoying like we had with lovely Hannah Martin my lovely makeup artist friend and we tried to do the split screen and that failed us too so Hannah my darling we're still working on it aren't we we're going to try and perfect the technology meantime I'm hoping that Kerry September my lovely makeup artist friend I'm really hoping that her technology will be up to it and I'll be able to do a Tuesday tutorial with her next week so lots of lovely things planned honestly it's um it's been such a pleasure actually to really kind of think ahead now and think right okay we you know what would everybody like so do keep your comments coming and your suggestions what you'd like to see more of what you'd like to hear about and um, I don't do direct message on Instagram I just throw that out there because it's it just becomes too much I think I, I looked at my screen time and I think yesterday because I was answering so many questions about this whole kind of Easter dose and Easter gel issue I had something like four and a half hours on Instagram and uh, and that was just with the comments so it's you know it's it's a lot trying to fit everything else in and trying to write the magazine as well because we've got a brand new issue uh, I so want to show you I've just received the cover and it's so pretty um, but I'm not allowed to because it's embargoed but maybe I'll do a sneaky peek tomorrow I might just do a sneaky peek because you will start getting it. if you're a subscriber you'll start getting it soon it doesn't go into the shops for another week but um, but subscribers and I should say actually if you want to subscribe and you haven't yet subscribed 
literally the next few days are the best time because there's an amazing deal 30% off 30 and free PMP in the UK and that price will go up um, middle of next week so just to warn you if you haven't subscribed and you want to then just let's just take advantage of that while you can a um, couple of other things to take advantage of I've got some signed yearbooks that's my lovely yearbook two which I'm signing at the moment here on the farm we've got a few of yearbook ones um, so we've still got a few of those so grab those and last but not least yeah I wanted to tell you about my dress so this dress is a Spiga lovely brand again based in Kenya um, I just wore it today because it's so cool it's uh, it has pockets yes we love a dress with pockets don't we and it is again it's got that nice sort of flattering halter tie neckline and I do I mean, I quite like it loose like this, but I also quite like it with a belt. So I just wanted to show you a couple of belts because she also, uh, Lucy from Aspiga, also m uses women's cooperatives and women's communities in Kenya to hand bead these beautiful, beautiful belts. So these are a couple of old ones, actually. And I was going to put this one on because this one um, has got its sort of browns and golds. And I just thought with the sort of khaki colour, it would go really well. So I haven't worn it for a while. And I suddenly realised it's way too big. So I thought, well, that's a result, isn't it? My stronger, slimmer you e-guide. Thank you very much, Michael Gary. It's obviously working. All those hideous push-ups and skipping routines and all the rest of it that you put me through and all those crunches clearly working. Uh, so I got this one. This is a really old one. This is one of the original early Maasai designs from like, I don't know, 30 years ago. I mean, now you can get really beautiful, fancy ones. But this just sort of adds a, a bit of splash of colour so you can wear this dress sort of belted or not as you as you choose. Um, and anybody who has been to Kenya will know that everywhere you see these beautiful beaded um, beaded designs and then you could just sort of pull it out or whatever. So rather good. And actually something that you can't see because I've got it down here, but I did pop it on my stories yesterday, is Lucy also has these made, these really pretty little beaded sandals, lots of designs. Um, and you know in the early days when she first started to do this um, my family and I we would bring back in our luggage we would bring back shoes and belts and things that had been made by women in the communities and then Lucy would sell them often at fairs you know you'd see her at events and um, she'd be you know selling them from the back of her car uh, you know in just a private sales and that's how her, her whole fashion brand started and she's maintained that ethos of sustainability and ethical fashion putting back paying fair wages working directly with um, disadvantaged groups so you know you know that when you buy things like this you know not only buying something that's really unusual um, but it's actually been made with love by somebody special and she's given us a discount yeah we've got 10% I've just double checked 10% off everything um, so there we go that's my floral friday i hope you've liked my quick um quick romp through everything i'll be back here with you tomorrow i've got some really special things i mean these have been special too but i've got some more special things um still carrying on with the neroli theme uh, but also a bit of well-being for the weekend. So don't forget, if you haven't signed up to the newsletter, please do. You've got until four o'clock today. Well, probably one minute to four because Amy presses the button at four o'clock um, to get your name on the list. Don't worry if you're watching this. Oops, sorry, I'm getting a bit booby. Um, if you're watching this not in real time, you can still sign up and you will get next week's. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you have a lovely, lovely rest of the day. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are. And stay well, stay safe. Sending lots of love. Bye-bye.